Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Brensich, and today we are going to celebrate Earth Day by talking about how we take care of the Earth and by making our very own Earth painting. And we're not even going to use any paint. I am excited to get started, but remember, if I go too fast, pause the video so that you can catch up, and then at the end, don't forget to share yours with me. For our Earth Day painting today, you're going to need a few art supplies. You're going to need a coffee filter. This is something your mom or dad might have. Ask them if you can borrow one. If you don't have one, that's okay. A white piece of paper will work just fine. Trace a plate and cut it into a circle. All right, you will also need some washable markers in the color of the earth. Blues and greens. They have to be washable, not permanent. And also one black marker that we can use to draw the face later. You will also need a water cup filled with water and a paintbrush. All right, go gather up your art supplies and come right back. I'm going to post the supply list next. Before we start our Earth Day painting, let's take a minute to think about how we can take care of our beautiful home, planet Earth. Did you know that it's our job to protect our planet and keep it safe and healthy? And there's a lot of things that we can do to do that. I'm gonna post a list of some things that we can do to protect our beautiful planet. I bet a lot of you are already doing a lot of these things. Or maybe you'll see this list and you will start doing them today or maybe you already have a plan to do some of these things in the future. All right, take a look and discuss some things that you do to keep our home, planet Earth, safe and healthy. We are ready to start our painting of planet Earth. You have your coffee filter or a white circle of paper that you drew and cut out. You have your washable markers, a cup filled with water, and a paintbrush. The first thing you're gonna do is draw the continents on your white circle. The continents are areas of land where people and plants and animals and insects live. Then you're gonna fill in the rest with blues. The blue is the ocean where sea life lives. And it's okay if you don't fill in every single white spot. That's fine. In the next step, you're going to use your paintbrush and water, and you're going to paint over your white and blue and green areas. And you will see that as the water touches the washable marker, the colors spread out, blend, and fill in the space. Once you're done with that, give it some time to dry completely before we start on planet Earth's face. I'm going to do a demonstration next. Take a look. Now that we have finished painting our beautiful planet Earth, we're ready to give our Earth a happy face. Maybe your Earth is even holding a heart or blowing a kiss because Earth is so happy when you take care of it. 
I'm gonna give you some ideas on how you might wanna draw planet Earth's face. You can use them or you can come up with your own. Remember, use a black marker so that it stands out against your blue and green. All right, go ahead. Okay, everyone, I hope you had fun painting our beautiful planet Earth today. And I hope this lesson inspired you to keep on taking care of our planet to keep it safe and healthy. Happy Earth Day!